the next setting that we're going to do, or the next task we're going to do, in order to create surfaces is set up a scene. So we've got this scene of a slab and some walls. We want one of the walls to be in full shadow, one to be in light and shadowed, and the floor to be mostly lit and then partly shadowed. So we've got a bit of variation. And then we're going to create a saved view. Now how do we do this? This is our project map. We've created this using the generic perspective. We've moved the sun by going view, 3D view options, 3D projection settings, and we've moved the sun so it's top left hand corner, in this case, so it's shadowing part of our model, part of our scene. We can zoom in as much as we want, so that's filling the screen. That's probably a good idea. And then we will save our view. I'll get rid of this one by going save current view and then I'm going to rename this surfaces setup generic and then as we experiment with light settings render settings we're then going to create different save views so we can then test quite quickly without needing to go into the light settings every time or the photo rendering settings every time to make it faster to visualize our surfaces. What do I mean? Document, creative imaging, photo render settings. When we go into our photo render settings, let's pull that across, we have a lot of preset scenes, indoor lighting, outdoor, fast, final. What do these do? These are presets, sort of like layer combinations, meaning that this will change our render settings and it will make these adjustments quite quickly. We can see that there's a lot of light, shadow, environment effects, global illumination and so on. So we don't want to necessarily have to autom sorry, manually adjust all of these ourselves every time. If we can start by saying, let's just use an indoor lighting or an outdoor daylight fast or medium, let's start with fast. Then that's going to be a good place to start and then we can make changes as we go. So once we've made changes and for now we're not going to add a lot of settings. We also need to change the size. So we have the settings and the size. I would recommend we want to keep this quite small while we're doing tests and so 800 by 600 something like that in terms of pixels. We could make it a bit larger if we need to. I would like to start this small and then I'll make it bigger as I feel more confident with what I'm doing and resolution 72 is great. Now that would be render. I don't want to render just yet. I will close this and I will update my saved view. Right click view settings, get current window settings. Now it hasn't looked like it's changed anything here but as it has actually saved these photo render settings as part of this saved view. So that's how we're going to use our saved view. Our physical model is not going to change, but our settings will change. And in order to remember those settings and save a variety of those settings, we'll use multiple saved views to do that.